Hello, buddy. My name is Paul Anthony Williams. You can call me Paul, and I, and I seem to forgot something. Hold on. Okay, no. No, I got it from here. Okay. So, we're going to investigate the beach right now. We're on our way. What does he have to say about it? There's, uh, there's a skeleton following you. I just thought you should know. Well, technically, I am a skeleton. Hey, there's one of them right there. All right. Ooh, baby. I'm feeling better already. All right. I don't know what happens if you put them in the water, though. Let me push these turtles. Sure. Right. Here we go. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, let's go inside. Hey, I'm I'm mostly familiar with this area. If you, if you guys ever did heroic challenges, like I have. Skull mask, skull mask. I know exactly where it is. I think, if you think about it, it's kind of redundant having a skull mask in the underworld. You know, who'd wear it? <laughs> We're all skulls. Kind of silly. Okay, should be fine. It's just as long as we don't run into any spiders. Well, technically speaking, we do have face masks in the living, so it wouldn't be that odd. Well, I wouldn't call those spiders. They have six legs. Anyway. Oh, it's more lore. Now 
Ah, uh, that sounds rough. Alright, let's all right, let's get down to business. Anyway, we are here looking for a head. Or a skull head. And I just keep and I just keep blowing them up with bombs, so. Anyway, make our way through. And I'm just gonna take this bomb with me. Cause I feel like I need to blow something up. Okay, just gotta be, ah, darn it. Anyway, there's some keys over here. Oh, these guys will drop acid. Anyway, he, anyway, there's a luxury treasure right over there, but we'll get it soon. Anyway, about time we have a soldier for Spyro. You guys probably already know what I think about Spyro. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll get that legendary treasure later in the level. Anyway. Let's see, am I forgetting anything? Hold on, let me just... Let me just uh, take a quick look around just to make sure. Okay. I checked. There, There's something back there. Because, you know, this is the part of the game where they start hiding stuff. Speaking of hiding... We have this elemental gate. Thank God I'm already undead. And this is probably when they, they uh, get a little bit more challenging. Or, you know... You pick up a bomb, you throw it... Oh, and I'm pretty sure that if the bomb does explode while you're holding it, you won't get hit. I'm gonna guess Beret? Yeah. Got a Beret. Just looking at the clock, making sure it's going by. Anyway, on our way through. You know, why don't I just pick up one of these skull heads? Ah, uh, these things are annoying. They, uh... Yeah, they do that. Anyway. Oh, darn it. I'm just gonna take this bomb with me. Because there's an opening up here. I could go with Stump Smash, but, you know, gotta do this legitimately. Interesting music that they're playing right here. Anyway, now that we made a bridge, or, at, or fine. Okay, blow it up. Blow this up. And this is how you get the legendary treasure. Anyway, let's head out. And we'll come down here. Hold on, I want to test something. Wow. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me try that again. 
Wait. Okay, I thought I was invincible for a second. While the shield was up. That would have been awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll come through here. Don't worry. Well, thank God I can heal. What about here? Alright. And this is Gargantula. I darn it. And it's down. Anyway, we're gonna have to run back over there. Oh yeah. I believe it's gonna be the tenth anniversary of Swap Horse soon. You know, so I always enjoy Swap Horse. Collect the treasure. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, I already have a key. Okay. Anyway, now I need to go back and get the bomb, even though I really wish I could use Boomer. Blow this up, and we get another chest. Oof. Eh, sorry. Ate some burritos. Anyway. Alright, time to be Flame Slinger. Anyway, something cool is if you, if you notice by my arrows, I can actually light the way. So any Skylar that has fire properties to them can do this. So yes, that does include Spyro himself because even though he is a magic Skylander and he can breathe other stuff besides fire, he cho he chooses to use fire only. Ouch. I don't know, it would have been more interesting if, if they allowed if they allowed uh, Sparrow to breathe something up. Like, keep fire. Like, I don't know, like, let him breathe. Like, let, let me, like, I, I don't know if they could do this, but breathe other stuff. That's the acid ones. Anyway, they're down. Love just setting things ablaze. Anyway, if you, if you notice, man, they're just falling right out of the sky. Well, that makes sense. They are spiders. Anyway, run down here. Would suck if you're a rupture or igniter. Blow this up. And it's probably our final treasure chest of the level. And tragically, th since this was the first game, we can't get those treasure chests, or some of the treasure up there. Anyway, run past. I want to explore a bit more, see if there's any more spiders. No? Okay. Anyway, this is going to be our final fighting area. Uh, what timing? We found his soul gem, so... Let's do this. I'm going to try beating this without the bomb. Darn... Spider. Alright, burn you alive. I mean, I guess... Oh, oh and you don't... You don't want to get hurt by these uh, giant spider's webs. Ow. 
you know, just steamrolling because Max Heroics. Hold on, if I fl if I flew, could I ignore his webs? Oh yeah, funny flying tutorial, but you can turn quickly by doing something like this. So what I'm doing is that I'm flicking the stick in the opposite direction, and then, and then when I'm ready, I press the A button, and then Spyro will automatically turn. This works for some of the flying characters, except for Drobot and Sonic Boom. Uh, with the skull mask, if we wear it, uh, the skull, uh, darn it, I forgot the, I forgot the Zelma enemies' names, but if you wear it, the undead won't bother you at night. I'm gonna need some time. No skin off my bones. In fact, no skin at all. <laughs> anyway, before we end this part. Time for the speed run challenge. Alright. Not too bad. We just need to roll around. And we can get through it. I'm trying to do this in a hurry. So that way I can uh, get back to playing a game that I'm enjoying. I mean, I'm enjoying Skylanders, no doubt about that. That's why I am did a few videos uploading, you know, because I want to celebrate Swap Force. I would say Swap Force, nah, nah. I'll give, I'll give a ranking to each game at, when I beat it. Ew, ew, bro. Hey, get back here. Not in the mood. Oh, wait. Oh, th oh, then. Oh, man, I can't believe I forgot about this. I don't know, I guess for Wrecking Wall, if, if you can bounce off of something, you can use that to your advantage or whatever. Anyway, point of no return. You know, I have like this little fun theory that whenever we were playing levels, we're not like, well, well, I had a, like in-game uh, reason for it. 
and that we're actually just traveling back in time, kind of. Because how would you explain why all the enemies are sort of back? You know, it's just it's just a theory. I mean, you don't have to believe you don't have to believe it, but you know, that's what I like to believe. Because you're telling me this you know, and you're telling me that all these spiders were are just props or something, that we're all friends after this. What am I doing? You know, it's kind of like a fun theory. Uh, what grounds do I have on this? I don't know. Also, do I don't know what happened right there. Alright, I'm just gonna go around here. Alright, you can come with me. I can't fit all of you in my mouth. I'm going to assume Wrecking Ball just eats stuff. I'm just, I'm just gonna assume Wrecking Ball eats things whole. Because I'm pretty sure I ate a spider that was poisonous. Well, I'm pretty sure he ate a spider. I, 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 I didn't, I, I do not eat spiders. I don't know, my, my, my method is just leave a dangerous predator alone. I'm sort of like allergic to bugs, however. Which is odd, because Wrecking Ball is a grub worm. Man, I'm just one-shotting these. Okay. Oh yeah, it's also another unique factor of Reggie Ball. His uh, little ball sort of ignores, like, I guess ground hazards? And let's get the skull head again. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Paul Anthony Williams, or you can call me Paul, and I'll see you all again next time. Have a good day, everybody.